forgot the beer. Uh, what the hell? I didn't mean for you to come with the beer. Um, yeah, I guess I'll share my beer. Let's have some beer. You got one down, people of the world. Thank you so much for joining me for yet another beer review. My name, currently, Red No Beard, hashtag Movember. Link in the description down below, as always. Please support the very, 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 very worthy cause. Yeah. And as I'm sure anybody watching, unless you're brand new, will know, this is Red Beard's, Red No Beard's best friend, Marcel, also doing the Hashtag Movember thing. Yeah. So yeah, let's have some beer. Um, for the beer of the today, this generously brought over by Mr. Marcel over here yeah. is a yeah. bottle of Year One Anniversary Blend beer by the Halcyon Barrel House, a part of the Bose family. Coming in at 7.9% ABV, it just, it's anniversary blend, strong beer, it's, it's bottle conditioned, barrel fermented, a blend of some of their different beers, like it did. Is it beers or barrels? I'm not sure. A barrel but... fermented, bottle conditioned, anniversary blend, hmm. I would assume it's a blend of beers, hmm. but. That's weird, because I, I, especially Big brewers like that don't typically do just a blend and call it a blend. They'll name it something. Let you random. see their really cool little. I like. Yeah. I like. I like their logo. It's really well done. It's, it's just an H. Yeah. But it looks like a barrel. Yeah. It's really cool. So um, I guess let's uh. Remove. This is it. Oh, it's coming out. If I can take this part off. Okay. Okay. I see what's happening. Thank you. Appreciate that. This being some kind of blending stuff there's a good chance this might get a really decent little pop going on so we're almost there wow i thought i was gonna hit you in the fellas i'm going back with it <laughs> yeah, that, that was wow, wow. it a lot whizzed of, right by a lot of smoke on the opening there yeah. Really nice coming out there, so let's see what we have got. It just looks like a kind of nice, normal, amber-ish colored beer. Very nice smell even from here. I'm getting like a fruitiness. Oh. A really big oh. pop of fruitiness. Hello, Brett, my old friend. Definitely in there. You smell it. You'll smell it instantly. Let's do the uh, thumbnail thing. Holy fuck a duck, that's good. Yep. Marcel likes to play by the rules. Wait, didn't even try to do that. Ah! Missed. Fail. This smells like a straight up Flanders red ale. Yeah, it's fucking Like weird. a very traditional Belgian style. It's, it's weird because like kettle sours and stuff like that, I find generally the smell is really off-putting. They yeah. smell just funky it's and weird. Pungent. It's but a, yeah. but when they do it like the right way or the original I guess traditional way, it comes across way more of like a fruity aroma with that that funky aroma is still there, but it's way more on the back end. It's kind of like cheese. It has a funky smell but a great taste. But this has a good smell. Oh yeah. It's it's there's good. let's uh, give her a shot, even though somebody already has. Wow. There's absolutely zero hint of this being a higher ABV beer. No. Or even really of this being beer. Like, you could give this to somebody who doesn't like beer well, and they're... not tell them it's a beer, and they'd probably they'd be like, this is kind of weird, but it's tasty, and they, they might not guess it's a beer. Kind of like a weird flex, but okay. It's good. <laughs> it's very good. Um... Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Thanks much to Marcel yeah. for bringing this by. Cheers to everybody else doing November as well. Damn right. All the Mo Bros. Mo Bros. Bros of the Mo. Very good stuff. Very, like, it, it's, again, I don't know. 
don't know what the blend means. Like, uh, if anything, I'm going to say untapped will be the website. Well, first, let's go to halcyon.beer. We'll bring you to the Halcyon Barrel House website. Oh, okay. I'm I'm a big fan of the dot beer thing that exists nowadays. Like, the web, the internet has gone <clears throat> to good places mm -hmm. with dot beer being a domain. And um, as far as this stuff goes, I feel like right here, okay. Year one anniversary blend is a special release to celebrate Halcyon Barrel House's first year as a brewery. It is the blended and augmented yield of a handful of our most well-aged and most interesting barrels from this past year. Think of it as our year in review highlight reel. So they blended a bunch of their beers together they and did. made this. And I just realized a small break must be taken. Sorry about that. Had a random person come by for a second and uh, all is well. This is the third beer by this brewery I've had now. Well, it's still technically Bose, so I've had a bunch of their beers, but this is the third beer by this extension branch. of Bros, bread branch of Bose, extension of Bose, other part of Bose, family of Bose member, whatever you want to call it. And I can't recall the what was the first one. The second one was a vlog that everything kind of went to hell on and is not going to be a thing you'll ever see. The first one was... What the, was that? Do you remember? Do you remember if I liked it? Yeah, I want to say I... Did. I, I loved them. I, I loved all, all, all of them. Because I liked the second. The second was a Brett IPA that was surprisingly tasty. Hmm. I really did enjoy it. Th this is not surprisingly tasty for what it is in the style it seems to be. Like, if it had said, like, Flanders something on it, I would totally be like, this is exactly what it says it's going to be. But it's, it's very kind of mysterious until you crack it open. But, mystery good. What do the people say? The people. The people out there on Untapped give us a 4.18 out of 5 with 129 ratings overall. Buratikit is 3.5 out of 5 with a giant list of 1 rating. And Rate Beer has 3.23 out of 5 with 2 ratings, which is not right. 3.9 and 3.7 are the 2 ratings. And that becomes a 3.23. Hey, Rate Beer. You suck. You sure do. That's good. It's good stuff. It's very good stuff. It cannot be denied. It can be denied. But you just, yeah, you could deny it, but you, you'd, you'd be lying. Right? Punch him in the kidney and tell him they're all... There you go. Make him pee blood. Exactly. I'll show him how wrong you are. Yeah. There's still a decent amount of beer in this freaking bottle. Pour it up, Bob. Pour it up. Pour it up! Oh, it's gonna work out decently well. Not bad. Oh, oh, come on, look at that! Look at that! Look at that beautiful pour. If you were if you were at a place where they were doing these little pours, that's like what you'd want. I feel like I'd want mine more. Well, that, that, that's what you'd want, but this is like what you'll get. This is, you know, more, uh, I guess, definition of a perfect pour kind of thing with the nice frothy head. Well, based on volume, isn't it a finger? I don't know. This looks good to me. That looks good as well. They both look good. It's good beer. Damn good beer. Hot damn good beer. Yeah. Hot damn good beer. Hot damn good beer. Damn hot good beer. Damn hot good beer. Yeah. Damn hot. I should have had you for that Cayman Kettle shit here. Was it good? It was stupid spicy. Oh, nice. Like... It was hot. It was dry hot with, with uh, what do you say? Ghost peppers, mm. habaneros, and some other crazy chili, and like seriously dry hop with that stuff. It was the pumpkin with flavor was there, but it was like burn your face off. Will you do the uh, hundred dollar pepper challenge? I don't know what that is. So it's ten peppers. First five are free. The next five are twenty bucks a piece. 
And like we're eating a whole pepper or like what? Yeah, you're eating a whole pepper. I'm not a fan of whole peppers. But I'll try it. Sure, why not? What the fuck? So you eat the first five. They're all good, but you have to eat the first five. And then the five after that and that. Or I'll give you a jar of the ghost chilies. You can eat them for five bucks a piece. You're going to wait five minutes in between. <clears throat> I've never heard of this challenge. What? I've never heard of this challenge. Oh, uh, there's... Uh, it sounds like a challenge I wouldn't really enjoy. No. So much. You couldn't do it, could you? I could probably fucking power Do through. one? Like, you, I'm, I'm going to stab you. What? I'll do it now. Just, just to spite you. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna burn my face off. Okay. Even more, probably, than the... Chili? The chili wasn't that bad. Maybe with your little fucking one little spoon of it. That first spoonful I took of that shit was a heaping fucking stupid spoonful of it. You straight up made it like the same amount of chilies as chili. It was not a good a, a good idea. <laughs> it was a very good idea. No. You had said the, on the, the, multiple the, arguments the, 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 that the, I could not. No. Your stipulation was I couldn't use extracts or fucking more than like a, a tablespoon of hot sauce. I agreed. You took it too far. I didn't. You did. I did. You did. There's no, no, like I said, nobody that has a reasonably normal palate could eat that. Could eat more than a couple spoonfuls of that chili that we made. There, there, it would not happen. There's, there's no way. Again, you, you overdid it. You, the, the point was to start with a bit of spicy I chili. I was. I wasn't using fucking no. ridiculous stuff. Like I was gonna go to the chili. You were using chili haban or habaneros are really. Fucking spicy, man. They're like they, they for a while. When I was younger, working in restaurants, habaneros were were like the king of hot peppers for a while. And then everybody like now that everything's now habaneros are like halfway point between like right. Nothing they're, 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 and, they're, yeah. No, but they're the first hot pepper. They're not. They're not. No. no it's the gateway. No. Jalapeno. Jalapeno's nothing. It may as well be a green pepper. Not if you get a good spicy jalapeno. A good spicy jalapeno has a decent bite to it, man. Uh, yeah, maybe. Like, yeah, go to Five Guys, get a burger, order some jalapenos. They put fresh sliced jalapenos on that shit. Not pickled stuff. Fresh sliced. And it's amazing. I've never been... I was blown away. The first time I went there and got that... You a burger priest. Where's the nearest one of those? Toronto. Yeah. See, like, five guys in Sudbury. Sudbury is about an hour and a bit away. Toronto is three hours, and depending on traffic, a bit away. I'll go to, and I go to Sudbury often enough for work, so five guys is kind of going to be... You're going to get it more often. All you have to do is play. Although, again, like, here in North Bay, Burger World. Go to Burger World, get yourself a fucking burger. That's a delicious, delicious hamburger. <laughs> it really is. Like, I... Tight. Five Guys, I guess, is maybe a bit better, but it's more expensive. Like, Burger World's decent price. I go with a bacon cheeseburger, $6.20. I pay him 7 bucks, so we get a bit of a tip. And it's a really good, delicious hamburger. And, you know, shop local kind of thing. Support the local economy. We've been recording for 29 minutes. Yeah. Also, it's like right by your house over there. True. It's other than arugula. Like, the, the two restaurants that are closest to your house are some of my favorite ones. I I can't really speak. I, I've stopped going to arugula myself. Oh. But, uh, yeah, Burger World. Highly recommended. I mean, it's been a while. Did something happen? something ah, right. but uh yeah i've never i've never been disappointed at burger world i go there often enough that i walk in the door and i don't even need to ask for what i want i just go in and they make me my burger the way i want it and they give it to me 
Is it supposed to do it? Yes. Just trigger the last? Oh, yeah. All right. Wow. Oh. That wasn't a good last drink. No, that, that was good. That was like a big sour candy hit right there. Oh. Um, House oh. Your Barrel House. Your year one anniversary blend. Your freaking label is way too shiny and it's way too hard to focus. get it in focus. 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 I'm gonna smash it over his head over here. Yeah, but, uh, focus. I'm gonna give that a pretty solid nine. That's yeah. a really, really tasty beer. It didn't no. blow my mind, but it's that's that's damn good stuff. Like I, I'm gonna say I didn't I didn't actually look for it even, but uh, this is brewery only, so I'm not like gonna Well it's got nothing, it's the year one. There's even like right here it's funny because there's like there's a a blend and packaged date space that has nothing on it. So I could knock you and be myself, but no no I, I just yeah, I, I said I'm giving that a solid nine. It, it's a nine. Um, to be honest, I think the the lack of information actually helps it rather than hurts it. Not knowing exactly. I, what I it do is. like like I, I, again I'm going like into this like as what it is. Well, as, you 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 said before we started like look it up, check it out. I was like, like because I was I was questioning. I'm like, what the hell is this thing? And I was like, well, if you want to know so bad, look like, it up. It, and I'm like, no, I agree. It's it's nice to not. It's it's it's. It's a pleasant surprise. Mm -hmm. Sorry, go ahead. I need to yeah. cut you off. Well, that's fine. You essentially said what I was going to say. So, yeah. It's a knife. Yeah. So, uh, if you've had the beer, let, let me know in the comments down below what you thought of it. And we'll go from there because that's going to do it for this particular beer review. Uh, again, sorry about the light. potential length. I'm going to... We'll, we'll, this this will be a... This will be one. This will be one of the more heavily edited videos I've done in a while, possibly. Right. But thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the thumbs up button in the face. If you want to see more? Subscribe, notification type thing. Thanks again to Marcel so much for bringing by the beer and just for being such a fantastic boy. Everybody loves Marcel. Nice. Yeah, and I'll be back. More of this stuff in the very near future. Peace out! Yeah, did you say Subworld in the beginning? Yeah, I did. Did you? Yeah. Okay. I'll make sure. Good. Check fuck out. Not allowed. Not allowed to fuck it up. I, I know, that's right. It's forbidden. Okay, it's me heck when I fuck it up. You will, you will. So what happened with the Rugler? Would you fucking piss off? Oh, I, I'm gonna stop this now. <laughs>